theropod dinosaurs in Patagonia. These mega raptors, unilagines, and other carnivorous dinosaurs roamed Patagonia before the mass extinction 66 million years ago. Newly discovered fossils shed light on what life was like. This on NSF Science, now. Sixty-six million years after a massive asteroid crashed into the Earth, wiping out the dinosaurs, NSF supported researchers at the University of Texas at Austin Jackson School of Geosciences are piecing together what life may have been like roaming Patagonia. Today, this region of South America is home to a diverse array of dinosaur fossils from the Cretaceous period just before the mass extinctions. We now know that there were herbivorous um, hadrosaur dinosaurs, small armored dinosaurs, and a lot of marine reptiles, as well as sharks. And now we have this record of theropods. So we're, we're slowly piecing together the whole picture of what was alive down there, how they might've interacted, um, and how flourishing this uh, community of animals was right until the extinction event. Locating even the smallest fossils could help paint a picture of prehistoric life in the region. What's really kind of surprising and interesting about this site is there are actually really good large dinosaur remains as well as small dinosaur remains and small dinosaurs that include birds. A really important site in, in terms of capturing a lot of different parts of dinosaur diversity. The newest fossil fragments represent the theropod group of dinosaurs and include fossils from birds, megaraptors, and union loggings. So theropods are the group of dinosaurs that are bipedal. They're usually predatory carnivorous dinosaurs, including like oviraptors, um, there's dinosaurs which were herbivorous, and then uh, importantly, birds. So birds are of course still alive today. They're the only group of dinosaurs that survived the KPG mass extinction event. So studying theropods as a whole is really important into understanding why that happens. Reaching over 25 feet long, these mega raptors with sickle-like claws were smaller than a T-Rex, but among the larger predatory theropod dinosaurs in South America, while the smaller, most likely feathered, Unilagines were a close relative to the Velociraptor. The bird fossils discovered were also from two groups of birds. The ones in ancient Patagonia may have resembled a duck or a goose. These fossils represent kind of, again, another piece in the puzzle of what was this in Cretaceous ecosystem like in the Southern Hemisphere. Importantly, the bird fossils that we find that do represent these two groups of birds um, are telling us that not only were birds around, but we do have these two potentially very different um, biologies going on in this locality. While more work is needed, these past records are key to solving the 66 million year old extinction mystery and understanding life as it exists today.